12 News is your local election headquarters. Tonight, Democratic candidates for Congress in Rhode Island's 2nd District will square off in a live congressional primary debate right here on WPRI 12. The candidates are eyeing the seat vacated by outgoing longtime Congressman Jim Langevin. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now with the preview. Anita? Well, Shannon, it's the first time the second congressional seat will be up for grabs in more than 20 years. Now Democrats running for the seat will face questions on topics ranging from inflation to foreign policy. Starting at 8 o'clock tonight on WPRI 12, four Democrats running for Congress in Rhode Island's 2nd District will meet in our studios who are facing off in the September 13th primary. Those candidates are Joy Fox, Seth Magaziner, Sarah Morgenthau, and David Siegel. The winner in the primary will go up against Republican Alan Fung in November. Recent polls show Treasurer Seth Magaziner has a big lead over his Democratic opponents, making tonight an opportunity for the other candidates to shake up the race. Rhode Islanders have elected Democrats to the U.S. House for 30 years, including 22 years for Congressman Jim Langevin. His surprise retirement announcement quickly led to a crowded field of candidates looking to replace him, something they can all agree on they want to keep the second congressional seat blue. I think I'm the right one uh, to go to Congress from Rhode Island. I think that that folks here are looking for something different. I live there and because I have worked across government in the community, uh, in particular working for Congressman Jim Langevin, I understand this district. And throughout my career, I've been able to build the broad coalitions that are necessary in order to overcome the special interests and corporate interest money. I ask for your support once again, uh, not for myself, but for this greater cause to keep this seat in Democratic hands. Now, our latest poll had Magaziner with a large lead over the other candidates, but a big block of voters are still undecided. Tonight's debate is an opportunity for these four candidates to distinguish themselves in this race. Anita Buffoni, 12 News.